Hello all, uh, today we are going to see uh, how to create uh, XML views in Informatica and uh, while doing that we will basically see two things uh, first is the requirement of XML views so at uh, what scenarios we will use or we will create the XML views and the second thing is uh, how we are going to create the XML views so uh, first start with the requirement at uh, when we will create the XML views basically uh, uh, let's assume that uh, uh, we have this particular uh, sample XML file and using this we have started our development uh, I have this XML file stored in the desktop so we'll import this particular XML file at Informatica source import from XML definition XML dev XML entity relationships okay uh, we have imported uh, this particular XML file and uh, it has three tags basically ODC employees and uh, address uh, we'll uh, store this information which we have in the XML file uh, we have only one record in this particular XML and we'll store this uh, records uh, in two targets uh, first is the ODC and uh, another one is the employee so we'll create two targets basically like this uh, okay we have created both the tables in the HR schema of Oracle database uh, we'll import these two targets at Informatica Targets input from database ODC and the employee. Uh, we'll create the mapping M XML test. Uh, we have source as dev XML, we have two targets employee and ODC. Okay, if you see the XML file over here, it's just a plain XML. We don't have any uh, further division between this XML file. Uh, basically, we have only, uh, we have uh, one to one relationship between ODC and the employee. That's why uh, our XML is looking like plain. So we'll directly map the source here, which is com which are coming from the uh, source qualifier to the uh, target uh, ODC this is name primary key will go to ODC and the remaining ports of employee will connect to employee columns so we have done with the mapping mapping is in valid state will create the respective workflow workflow create PDF, xml test create the session task s underscore xml test connect the two tasks okay uh, we have done with the workflow uh, let's assume that we migrate this workflow from dev stage to production and we when we went to production and when uh, actually uh, the when this suppose this XML got deployed to the production and actually when it went live uh, the actual file which uh, we got as a source is something like this so firstly at the time of development you got file the structure is same only the difference between these two files uh, file is files uh, is uh, the record count so in the at the time of development we got file which has uh, only one record whereas at the time of uh, production we got uh, same XML uh, file uh, only uh, in that particular file we had number of records so uh, let's uh, give the, uh, I have saved this particular file at uh, C colon Informatica colon informatica will give this path as a source a 
XML file name is we'll verify the data now ok mapping session went successful so if you see over here uh, source qualifier read only one record and same number of records got uh, inserted at target table so if you see at source file in source file actually we have one two three four four records but if you uh, at uh, but the our source qualifier uh, uh, source qualifier read only one one record we will verify the same at target table how many records got inserted actually so if you see only one record got inserted which has employee code as m go g t one and first name as mandar last name as gupte so basically this first record only got inserted at target level now uh, the question is why only one record got uh, inserted uh, whereas in the source file we actually has uh, four records so when we created the xml uh, we had only one record so let's open that xml file or uh, xml view so in this view uh, we defined only one to one relationship between uh, two two attributes that is odc and the employee whereas so for this particular xml uh, that was fine that relationship was fine was on, in uh, abc odc we have only one one particular employee but whereas uh, the file which came at production were there in uh, in ODC ABC we have one two two particular records that means the relationship between ODC and employee is one to many so uh, this is something we missed so what we'll do is the same XML which uh, XML view which we have we'll edit that particular XML view let's delete this view go to the sources xml dev delete this particular view i will create two views which will have relationship something like this so we'll have two views basically one is odc and employee and relationship between these two view will be one to many so create xml view create xml view okay, just right click uh, the new pop-up will appear called uh, show xml path navigator now we have to we, we need to create two views first we'll create odc in odc we have only one attribute called id just uh, right click on id or uh, just uh, click over here click on this uh, drop down and uh, so see uh, odc is the outer tag and id will be the uh, innermost tag so always will uh, drag innermost tag and uh, innermost tag will always get considered as a column mode so just drag it over here we have done with one view we'll create another view for employees now over here in employees uh, employee is the outer tag remaining all are the innermost tag so first deal with first three attributes will consider these three attributes as a column mode because these are the three innermost attribute and remaining uh, our area and city will not consider address once we drag area and city automatically the target will get uh, the address will get added okay we have done with uh, creation of uh, two xml views we'll rename these xml views first will be the odc second will be employee now over here uh, employee will get considered as a row and over here ODC will get considered as a row we'll define the primary key so ID will be our primary key over here and over here also employee ID will be our primary key we'll define the relationship between these two views with this particular menu uh, menu button just click over here okay so we have defined the relationship if you see over here this is one to one we'll change the, that to one to many one to unbounded save this 
so we have done with the view we'll save it now if you see our source qualifier got changed we have in one particular source qualifier we have two sets of data one bill one one is the odc and another is the employee so to join this particular uh, two separate data sets we need to have joiner in between odc employee uh as we have uh only uh, we have two separate data sets which are coming from only one source we need to define our joiner as sorted input we'll give the condition between condition for this joiner so primary key to foreign key now just connect incoming ports to the target primary key will be for employee id foreign key will be for odc id which is same as this primary key and remaining all ports of employees our mapping is in valid state we'll refresh the workflow workflow is also in valid state we'll verify this connections connections are fine we'll verify this source which is also fine truncate the target truncate the target okay our workflow is in valid state we'll run the workflow and we'll validate the results so if you see at this time odc has two records abc and pqr and uh, employees has four records 1 2 3 4 so this time as expected source qualifier source qualifier uh, read uh, same number of records and same number of records got inside at target we'll verify the same at target by running the query okay so we have uh okay, let's run it separately select star from employees so we have four records as expected got inside at target table select star from odc will refuse distinct okay so uh, this is how uh, so these are the situations wherein uh, we need to create uh, our own xml views when our uh, when we are not sure or uh, the xml which we got at the time of def uh, development it's kind of different with uh, from the uh, production uh, xml or production source file thanks for watching this video